Hi, my name is Kelly Winkler. I'm a nursing student in the bachelor program at Midway. I'm doing my presentation on the nursing theory by Ernestine Weinenbach, The Helping Art of Clinical Nursing. This is a picture of her. She was born on August the 18th in 1900 in Hamburg, Germany. She died in 1998 uh, on March the 8th. Uh, her education, she got her RN at John Hopkins School of Nursing in 1925, went on to get her master's at the Columbian University in 1934. Uh, her career started at Yale University where she was an instructor from 1952 to 1956. She taught maternity and obstetrics. She also went on to write a program in 1958, a model called uh, the Family Center of Maternity. Her main premise in her theory is that identif identifying the patient's needs for help. So everything in the theory basically resolves around what is what does the patient need and what are their needs. Um, nursing, her main practice is identifying the needs of the patient and this is done by observing the patient's behaviors and their symptoms, exploring the meaning of the symptoms, determining the cause of discomfort, and then examining the patient's ability to uh, resolve these discomforts themselves, being a part of their own healing process. Uh, her key elements are, according to her, her philosophy is how does attitude reflect reality? In other words, how does the patient's attitude reflect his outcome, his, how does he perceive his illness and does it affect um, the way he heals? The purpose of the nursing theory is what the nurse chooses to accomplish through activities that are directed at the overall good of the patient. Another key element is that uh, observable nursing actions or observable actions that are affected by beliefs and feelings uh, towards the patient's need for help. So how the nurse views the patient, how she feels uh, he can benefit from her activities, uh, can determine her role and what she needs to do to help him achieve and overcome his needs so that he can come back, you know, uh, regain a full health uh, wellness. The art of nursing in, to her is understanding. It's the understanding of the patient's needs, his concerns, and what can she do to address those and alleviate those concerns and address any needs the patient may have. Key definitions, she's really big on key definitions, like the patient to her is any person that has entered the healthcare system and is receiving help. Uh, a particular um, article uh, by a Bolt, Bolting, I can't pronounce that very well, he actually wrote an article and to him it was determining does the patient matter? And so this also goes along with the NLN, uh, their National League of Nursing, and it fits in with their competencies for a bachelorary nurse in professional identification and cultural uh, considerations as well. Also, a need for help. Uh, any measure that is desired by the patient that will return the patient to a state of wellness. And in the NLN competencies, this would be human flourishing. In other words, finding out whatever the patient needs to be able to return to a set of healthiness and uh, would allow him to flourish as a human. Back to more definitions. The nurse in her theory is basically a functional human being. So the nurse is just there to play a role in assisting the patient with his needs. Uh, knowledge uh, is encompassing anything that we've learned, perceived, or grasped by the human mind. And in the NLN, this would be the spirit of inquiry. Um, 
in other words, developing based on everything you've learned and bringing that to a whole theory of how you can help the patient meet his needs. Definitions continued judgment, it basically is the nurse's judgment, um, making sound decisions for the patient. In the NLN, this would be the nursing judgment. Nursing skills are made up of various activities. Uh, a person, whether nurse or the patient, is endowed with the unique potential, development, self-sustaining resources. Within the NLN, this would be the, uh, the competency of cultural considerations. So basing, you know, whatever the needs of your patient, whether it be an ethical um, dilemma, whether it be a cultural issue that you have to overcome, but finding out what this particular patient's needs are, not comparing them with other patients, but determining, you know, the patient at hand and what we need to do or what the nurse needs to do to overcome those obstacles. Current research, uh, I couldn't find like any actual research programs. However, there were, there were several articles, uh, one particular by William Boteen, and the name of the article was Knowledge Management is Evident-Based Practice, and basically it's saying, does the patient matter? So in this research, they were trying to determine, does the patient matter in his own care? Uh, can his outcome of his personality, his um, the way he pursued perceives himself uh, having a hand in his illness, uh, realizing he can make a difference, all of that really makes a difference in how the patient can overcome. Like the perception of both the patient and the nurse uh, makes a big difference in the outcome. Not just if the nurse is on board but the patient isn't, then you're not going to get the full um, you know, the full potential. But if both are on hand and both are agreeing and feel like they're doing what is best for the, the patient's needs, then you get a really well-rounded, balanced outcome. Uh, current practice theory, nurses use this all the time. There's, even though they may not really realize it, you know, as nurses, we constantly address our patient's needs. So uh, when we go in in the morning and we decide a care plan for the day, we address the, you know, the needs of our patients based on acuity, um, what needs to be done first, what is the best uh, for the patient to get the outcome we choose. So even though there may not be any certain hospital that states they use this theory, it is out there, uh, very prevalent in all nursing practice. And this also is just the nurse's implications uh, with assistance to the patient, determining what the needs are, evaluating the patient uh, thoughts and taking part, again, establishing a plan of care to reach the goals for the patient and the nurse. Um, and that's pretty much the biggest thing is just making sure that the patient is a part, that they play a part in their own care that they help address their needs and that they feel like they have a partnership in what happens to them and how they overcome their illness. Again, my name is Kelly Winkler. Thank you so much. Bye.